What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys how to travel the globe from your computer. So we've all heard of Google Earth and we've probably used it in the browser a time or two, but most people don't know that they do have an application that you can install on your system. And I kind of say that loosely because I know it's a lot of people out there that actually follow this and have installed Google Earth on their system. So this video is mainly for the people that don't know that there, there is an application that you can install on your laptop that allows you to use Google Earth. Now, if you don't know what Google Earth is, it basically allows you to travel the world uh, like on a virtual globe and it has like satellite images. That's basically what it uses uh, maps, terrains and all that good stuff. So you can actually view the Earth from your actual computer. Uh, you can even zoom in and see like areas that you've probably always wanted to travel to uh, well you can look at all of this stuff from your laptop and it's a super cool application i wanted to show you guys how to install it on linux because sometimes i've spent hours looking at google earth on my laptop just scrolling around looking at the world and looking at different areas that i've always wanted to travel as well as places that i have already traveled uh just to look at the area again because it's super dope you know what i'm saying but let's go on and go to google earth's website and this is where you can actually look at everything from the web but this is also where you can actually download the application to install it on your laptop and i want to specifically focus on linux so i'll be showing you guys how to install it on your linux operating system whether it's ubuntu or Archbase, there is a way to get google earth on your system to get it to work so let's go down and go to the website right fast just to check it out okay cool so i'm at google earth's website and the address is google.com forward slash earth and i'll put the link down in the description of the video but this is super cool that they have this website out here. You can actually launch it from the browser and that'll actually launch everything from there. But let's say you want to document certain things or put highlights or pinpoints uh, in certain areas. That way you can quickly go to it. You can do it under your Google account, but you can also do it on the desktop application. And which is why I wanted to show you guys that. But a lot of people, you know, within the privacy field or, or always talk about privacy, they tend to always talk down on Google products, uh, which I kind of do as well, as far as the tracking, as, as well as the way they gather information from their users, which I totally don't agree with, but they do get some things right. And I believe that Google Earth is one of those applications or tools that it actually gets right. You know what I'm saying? As far as an educational tool and something that people can actually view different areas of the earth straight from their computer so this is like like i said a super dope uh application or project and let's go on and uh just read a little bit about it but uh let's scroll down right here it says the world's most detailed globe uh, and this is one thing I installed on my kids computer so they could play around with it and actually look at different areas of the world and I remember when I was a kid I had that you know big globe uh, metal globe that spent around or whatever and that was the only representation we had of the earth well this is super cool to actually see it in so much detail uh that's mind-blowing in my opinion so let's scroll down uh like i said it says create on earth so you can actually draw on the map you can add photos you can add videos uh and that's part of the whole privacy thing they track you know this stuff everything you put within google earth on the web is going to be tracked you know what i'm saying obviously but the application i'm not 100 percent sure but it should be self-contained on your computer uh and if it's not there's ways to block uh information being sent back um but based on what i've read a lot of what you add to the application 
locally is stored on your local system and just to read a little more it says customize your view so you can make use of google earth detail glow by tiling the map to save perfect 3d view and driving into the street view for a 360 experience and it says share your story with the world uh, collaborate with others like a google doc and share your story as a presentation so that's super cool that you can actually do that uh it says find some place you love so one thing i like to do is i try to look at places uh, i want to visit in the future and i kind of mark those down but you can actually see where you're trying to go before you actually go by using this actual application and it's super dope that it's available on the linux operating system so let's go on and get to installing it but um what it says a little further down you know it's just some more information on google earth but i wanted to go to the earth versions just to show you guys there is the google earth on the web so you can use the web client and then you can also use the mobile client and then they also have the google earth pro on desktop in it which is the one we want to actually use and if we read right here it says it's free for users with advanced features needs feature needs import and export gis data and go back in time with historical imagery available on pc mac and linux so you can install it on your windows system as well as mac os as well as linux and most people know that but i just wanted to highlight it or whatever so you guys can you know check it out for yourself but let's go on and get to the install and what i'm going to install it on is manjaro today um and i just wanted to show you that it is in the aur this is the actual package it's called google earth pro uh all you have to do is uh down install that package just use your aur helper and you can install a package from there and if we go back to the website and uh under earth versions uh you can click on the one that says google earth pro like we did earlier uh and this is how you download it from the actual website and i just wanted to show you this because this is the way you get it on ubuntu or fedora open suzy you can download the package directly from google earth's website and as you can see there is a dev package all you have to do is download that double click on it in ubuntu and it will open up the software center and actually install the dev package for you and then also they have the package for fedora and open susan the rpm package so that's how you actually download it for those other distributions but like i stated we're going to use the aur for installing it on orch just to show you guys how to do it because that's the distribution i kind of want to use as a demonstration for this video but let's go on and open up the virtual machine so we can get started with the install okay cool so i have my virtual box up this is manjaro like i stated so let's go down and get to the install of google earth and i just want to show you guys really how to install it and then we can go through and play around with it in a virtual machine and hopefully it doesn't crash because i know google earth is very resource intensive so it may crash the machine but we'll go through and just play around with it i just didn't want to show you guys uh my personal one well if it if it comes down to it i'll show you the one that's installed on my system just so you guys can see it's actually running on the desktop but the command to install it on orch linux or any orch based distribution you have to use the aur helper or one of the aur helpers it's a couple of them out there i know it's a new one that a lot of people have been talking about i can't remember the name of it right now off the top of my head but i've been using yay forever so that's going on and use that right now but it's a uh, yay and then dash s and then what you always want to do is update the system i know this system is up to date uh before i booted up the system i believe yesterday it was updated so i know it has all the most recent updates on the system and manjaro is kind of behind on orch as far as uh pushing out updates so it shouldn't have any updates for the day but yay dash capital s and then the package name which was google earth pro with the dashes in there so let's go down and type that in so google dash earth dash pro 
and press enter and it's gonna go through and install google earth and i'll kind of come back when it finishes but you guys you know have seen you know these types of installs so it's no reason to kind of walk you guys through it again or just watch you know paint dry pretty much <laughs> so i'll skip ahead okay cool so the installation is done let me go down and close the terminal and we should be able to find it under the start menu uh, so i'm gonna type google and there we go so google earth let's go down and open it up and hopefully it doesn't crash this machine like i stated uh because i know it's very heavy on the resources uh but we can play around with it a little bit let's see how far we can go without it crashing so this is kind of like startup tips right here you know it'll bring it'll sh just basically give you some information on using the application uh it says navigate in google earth you could drag and drop you know drag and swing around the earth you know all that good stuff uh you can send feedback this is how you send that feedback uh navigating with street view so you can go you know that kind of shows you uh clicking through uh the navigation it actually opens up the links but uh if you've used google maps uh then you should have an understanding of how to use the street view and then you know find your house you could put your information in, but i would recommend you don't you know what i'm saying but you should be fine but let's go on and close it that's that's basically all the information there you know what i'm saying but it does track like past locations you can view locations from your past from the past so if you uh kind of tracks your history uh and all this stuff should be stored locally and it shouldn't be synced to any of the servers uh any of google's servers so uh, but anyway this is the application right here uh, and as you can see, you know, it kind of already pulls up uh, the US, it starts on the US, but uh, you can spin it around, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's Africa right there, you know what I'm saying? Let's straighten this thing up a little bit. But this is a super dope application. Like I, I let my kids play around with it, you know what I'm saying? That way they can kind of understand what what's all on the globe, you know what I'm saying? As far as like, uh different countries and all that stuff so so they can understand that the world that we live in is or the this the city that we live in is very small compared to the world you know what i'm saying like i stay right here on the west coast uh that's just one little area and i just want them to understand that you know it's bigger things out there you know than just your city that you live in it's more a whole lot of things out there uh especially the sea and then right here you have layers. So actually let's zoom in a little bit uh, and I'll just look in on the US. And I used to live in Texas at some point. So let's pull up Houston. Uh, and so you can actually click on the city and it should zoom in on it. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's Houston. And then if we go down here, I mean, over here on the left hand side, you'll see they have places. Uh, so temporary places, you can add different places there. And then you also have layers. So they have announcements, you know, borders, labels. You could turn things on and off uh, depending on what you're trying to see. So as you can see, the borders were on as far as the US goes. As far as uh, all the borders, you know, counties um parishes all that good stuff is turned on right there and you can actually turn it off if you don't want to see it you see how it disappeared so but you kind of want those on you know to kind of see and then they also have roads which is super cool so they show like uh the highways you know in different areas so like i remember beltway 8 uh in houston you know, it was basically a highway that goes all around the city of Houston, makes a big loop. Uh, and then they also had another one, a 610 loop, which was the smaller one. Uh, so that loop kind of circles around the city as well. Uh, but that's, you know, super cool to actually see. And I, I've always enjoyed maps uh, ever since I was a kid when my parents used to take us on like vacations me and my my sibling will we'll go on vacations to different cities and my dad would always reach back and hand me the map and and say hey uh we're going to x y and z um 
try to help me figure out the best route to get there and he already knew the route that we were, we were going to take but he would help me uh just by teaching me how to actually use the map so that's one reason i got interested in using maps and i have a very sense or good sense of direction when i go some when i go places so like if i go somewhere one time uh i pretty much got it uh i can get back to that location you know fairly easy off of memory just by watching landmarks and all that stuff and, and based on the signs that you see when you're driving on on the interstate i kind of get things and it'll stick in my head for a while you know what i'm saying and uh, my wife kind of calls me the human gps you know how how well i can kind of navigate around especially when we're going different places but during this time of like covid and all that stuff or whatever you know the whole pandemic going on you it's cool to actually use something like this to kind of travel around, you know what I'm saying? And, and look at different areas uh, and look at live different landmarks and all that good stuff. So, um, and let's zoom in a little more. I just want to see if it shows like uh, buildings. Like, let's say we want to go downtown or look at downtown. Those um, buildings downtown uh, in Houston see if we can find them right fast like the hotels and and all that good stuff so i kind of show you guys a view it has a 3d representation of the buildings that are downtown so that's super dope right there how you can actually see that you know what i'm saying it, it, it looks you know 3d you know and that's turned on by default as well so 3d buildings you can also turn on the weather uh this is a gallery. I'm not sure what's under gallery. Let's actually click it up and, and see. Okay, so it says uh, show or hide roads, borders, uh, 3D view, every trail. So that kind of shows more trails, I'm assuming. But that's super cool to actually see the actual buildings. Uh, and if we like went to New York or something, you can kind of zoom in there as well and see all the buildings downtown you know in uh new york you know the big apple or whatever <laughs> but this is a super dope application i hope i showed you guys something you know a little bit different you know what i'm saying i know a lot of people don't like google um and i have my issues with google as well as far as the way they track people you know and they track information and all that stuff uh to sell it off to advertisement companies but this is you know one of their best projects in my opinion that i actually enjoy using you know just to play around with it and look around you know at the world so it's super cool to to actually install this and have this available on your linux operating system as well that's another reason i wanted to kind of show it you can install this on linux you know what i'm saying and you're good to go but i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel check out google earth for yourself the link will be down in the description so you can download it install it on your operating system as well but i hope you guys enjoyed the video again and keep it techy